I've never reacted to Theo Vaughn in my life. See a couple of clips that, you know, kind of wander on the internet. And, you know, one day I was just like, let me dive in and see what this is all about. Let me know why you guys like Theo Vaughn. Um, let me know if you guys ever met him, been on his podcast or anything along those lines would be great. And refer me to what he has online that I should be looking into, okay? These are our collaboration of clips that I found on the internet that are all viral. So if you don't like any of these, good. Suggest some in the comments. And How do Chinese people do? They have like... Well, could, could I, can I ask you something? Yeah. And I honestly believe this. I believe that you don't know what I am. <laughs> because several times in this podcast, you've referred to China. And then you look at me. Do you think I'm Chinese? I don't know if you are. No. <laughs> Be honest. I don't dude. care if you are. I, I I don't I don't I know you I know you don't <laughs> I know you don't I know that you don't care that I am. Okay. Yeah. I know that you don't care, right? I mean I but do I, care, but it doesn't matter to it me. It doesn't matter to you. Yeah. You're it, welcome I, around me. I know. You love me regardless. Yeah. Right? But it is information that you should fucking memorize. <laughs> okay, well chill, bro. <laughs> it's information you should fucking memorize because I've known you for 20 fucking years, whatever, dude. It's not about chill or not chill, right? It's about memorize that shit, dude. Whatever you're fucking saying, is, I, I'd be happy to fucking answer those questions, but memorize what the fuck I am. You guys make mistakes like that. Me, I ask. I don't make that mistake. Have you ever made that mistake and people get insulted? Like, I'm Haitian. People that said, oh, you're African. Yeah, I think you should respect all cultures. And She's been around me a little while now, but. She's beautiful. She, yeah, she is. Uh, you're, I mean, you're handsome. But she's better. Well, she's you're better. not my type, brother. So okay. you, just, <laughs> you just hold your horses back, all right? Yeah. And same, brother. Same, yeah. brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like sisters. Yeah, but, but with that baby, I got me a whole new family, too, so I'm good. I'm oh, really good. nice. Yeah. Congratulations. What were we talking about? Oh, you look at her and I forget what I was talking about. Uh, look, I feel you. I look. I, I agree with you. You just look. Is. That's all you get. You I'm not going to look again. Don't look again. <laughs> Don't, look again. <laughs> Don't look again, bro. I'm over here, brother. Right. Yeah. Cool. We're good now. I love the way that uh, Theo Vaughn pushes the limit. I think that everybody needs to push the limit sometimes. And I mean, what a better chance to push the limit than with uh, Hulk Hogan right in the rooms. I think that was pretty, uh, you know, pretty cool. It's pretty clear that the establishment doesn't like you, I would say. What do you think? Well, I think the people like me. Oh, yeah, the people. we're leading now in all the polls. And uh, Why does the establishment keep trying to sink you? Like, what is it that they are af so afraid of? They want to sell product that I'm not interested in. They want to have certain boats and certain ships and certain planes and certain everything bought. Uh, pharma is another one that's, you know, interesting. Or do they push back against you, you think? Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty obvious that they do. But we have a lot of popularity. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of people that want to see me come back and win because we had a great time. We had the greatest economy in history when I was president. We had oh, yeah. My the best job numbers. Yeah, we had the best job that. numbers. African-American. We cut taxes more than anybody else, including Ronald Reagan. We uh, cut regulations, which created jobs. We had a great period of time, and I think the people want it back. Based on what I'm seeing, the people want it back. I mean, what is your view on what Donald Trump did for the company, uh, that did for the country? Um do you feel that he's done the things that he said that he, he's going to do? And are you uh, a fan of him or not? You know, let me know in the comments. But you're in the fellowship. Are you allowed to talk about that? Yeah. I mean, I was on cocaine was Were my deal. You? Yeah. I liked a little bit of cocaine. And um, yeah, I liked cocaine. You know, <laughs> like if you would have some cocaine, then I would have some, hopefully. <laughs> if I had some now, what would you say? I would say... We'll take a break, boys. <laughs> no, because you're in recovery. I'm in recovery, no. I would say, I would look at it. I'd make sure it's cocaine. Right. And then I'd probably hand it back to you. Yeah. And then I, a few minutes later, though, here's what I would do a few minutes later. <laughs> I'd say, let me look at it again. Really? Yeah. I respect the Vaughn for being that open as a comedian to let us into his personal life like that. I mean, we all deal with certain um, thing, problems, addictions, and shit like that, and things like that. And I think he is... Uh, you know, I respect for him. You know, I got a certain profound respect for him for that. Uh, right? Respect in the comments if you agree. Also, if you have a problem, man, get some help, man. Always get some help. Do you think that our election process is still democratic? Yes and no. You want to run for office. Can you? Yeah, you can. You got a certain number of signatures. But if you're going to win, and I have 10 times more money than you do, I will beat you 95% of the time. Wow. I use the term oligarchy. An oligarchy is a society where small numbers of very wealthy people control the economic and political life of the country. I think we are moving rapidly in that direction. To me, it feels like an almost privatized communism in a way. Right. That's a very good point. I'm willing to date a nice black girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
What is, I mean. A black girl that's nice? You got to be a little bit gangster. You got to be straight up. Mm -hmm. they, they want straightforward, especially coming from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. one, one of our white brothers in the community. I think more black women want you to be, you got to be more assertive. Not too much, because okay. you know how y'all y'all get. But <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, I ain't doing yeah, none of that. Y'all got to meet None it. of that turn yeah, back yeah. the clock shit. Yeah, we ain't doing yeah. none of that. I want to know for white guys um, that are interested in dating a black woman or any other woman outside their race, uh, tell us a story about that. Like, how is that? Like, is it easy? Is it hard? I actually dated a, a white woman before, and um, it was a great process. I just felt like... Uh, I didn't like all the questions. I don't like everybody wondering about our race and not actual relationship. You know what I mean? So that's what kind of altered my thing. But I'm always open to hearing stories. Let me know, you know, what's happening in our situation. So she went out and... Who, Kamala? She, yeah, she lied about everything. She said, uh, this Trump tax, that Trump tax, that Trump tax. He's going to tax this. He's going to tax all these different things. And I'm not going to tax them. She made it up. I'll tell you what, if she's, pre she's the worst vice president ever... He's the worst president ever, a deadly combination. And we have a country where the borders are bad, where the world is blowing up. You look at Israel, you look at Ukraine, you look at all the different things that are happening. Oh, we're, yeah. She is, and she has no clue. She's been there for three and a half years. Why don't you do it? All you have to do is say, why don't you do it? Why didn't you fix it? Yeah. And she won't talk to you and she won't talk to anybody. She won't be interviewed. She's welcome to come on. I would love to I get know. to talk she, to her. She, I'm sure she'd be very exciting. Um, Actually, I, you could make her exciting, probably. You think? Yeah, I think so. Somebody said she's a good roller skater. That's what I heard, which is well, crazy. That's about it. Well, Trump said that's about it. And what else do y'all think Kamala's good at? I mean, I don't know anything about politics, but I just guess it's a good opportunity to ask y'all. What's the most dangerous place to be around here? Here? Uh, I'd say every, every area of London, literally every area, is sketchy. Uh, I love that. The nice areas are sketchy. <laughs> the bad areas are sketchy. But you just have to not... Do stupid shit. And y'all's robberies all have clues and stuff. That's what I like about London. <laughs> clues. Or like if, you know, if there's something that happens, it's like, oh, he is a clue, you know, the <laughs> detectives or whatever. Then they're hot on your trail. That's what I like about London. I kind love of that everything that you think about England is based on movies and like, because it's the way that I used to view America as well. I used, I remember going, my wife went to Duke. I remember we were in town for something and we were driving past the frat houses. And I was like, I've never been to a frat party. Should we just knock on the door of one of them? Uh, we went up, I knocked on the door. One of them opened the door and was like, why are you knocking on our door? And it was just like three dudes and one guy who had his face super glued to the floor. Oh, yeah. And it was like, not the vibe. And I was like, this isn't like the movies. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Shoney's in, bro. I remember for $11, you could stay at the place, right? For fifteen dollars, you could stay and eat, right? So it was that four dollar upcharge. You got that buffet. Shoney's had an inn. When you're a kid, all that shit's nice until you get old, and you're like, "Why am I eating this shit? I'm gonna fucking die." Look at the people around me. Look what they look like, and here I am with them, about to die. And that's anywhere. Any of those chains. That fucking uh, country crock. Oh, yeah. What's that one? The, oh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. You'll die. <laughs> You'll fucking die in one of those places. You're eating there and you're like, you know what? This is. What's the place that they have the chocolate fountain? Oh, uh, they have one in Burbank. Memphis? No, I no, don't know no, no. Is, the, Golden Corral. Golden Corral. That's a fucking place right there. Oh, you'll die. I see people eating fish at those places. Oh, you just want to go over to them and go, listen, here's a good mortician. I'm not a fan of fast food. I eat all organic. Uh, what was your favorite? Fa what is your favorite fast food? Mine was Wendy's, uh, obviously McDonald's when I was a kid. But Wendy's in White Castle was my favorite, hands down. All right. These were the Theo Vaughn clips that I found online. Um, I'm always open to more suggestions from you guys. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I cracked up the whole time, and I feel like his comedy is along the lines of what I like, which is dark humor. You know, dark humor is something I'm a real big fan of. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions. You got some, give them to me. Um, we're at about 54,000. We need 100,000 subs by the end of the year, so make sure you guys sub up so we can hit that goal, and I will see you guys on the next one.